Nehao, I'm Mailam. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on this notification bell. And find out what is missing in this quadratic formula for a chance to have your comment hearted. This first person to find out what is missing in this formula will have this comment hearted. Now let this video begin. Welcome to the childish antics of childish dad. Enjoy the show. Oh, hi. You must be Nancy Johnson. Come on inside. Is Chloe here? Absolutely. Come with me to the basement. Oh, hi Nancy, I've been expecting you. Nice of you to drop by. Thanks. Listen Chloe, I'm sorry for calling you a Terrence and Philip fangirl. I just got so frustrated and angry about my husband's childish antics that it just got the better of me. I may have deeply hurt your feelings, but still, do you forgive me? Absolutely I forgive you. I knew there was a reason for such behavior of yours, and that's why I wanted to learn more about your side of the story. Come sit with me so you can explain more about your issues. I guess it all started when my husband wanted to ride on the mall train at the American Dream Mall, but he couldn't because he was too old and too big for it. He threw a tantrum and caused a huge scene in the mall, and that became the last straw for me. I've just completely had it with his attitude, so I failed to think twice about enforcing rules on my own husband. I forced him to stop playing with toys and watching childish shows and do more adult-oriented stuff like watching R-rated movies, watching M-rated shows, playing M-rated games, and eating and drinking more adult-appropriate foods and drinks like steak, potatoes, vegetables, and beer. I didn't even care that it wasn't right to enforce rules on my own husband. One day, all of a sudden, I got so obsessed with South Park that I wanted Davis to start watching it. I didn't care too much about the show's dark humor and offensive dialogue, I just loved the maturity of that show, and for that reason, I've been forcing my husband to watch that show, hoping he could reach his highest level of maturity. But I admit I got carried way too far, and it never crossed my mind how wrong it was to force anybody to watch that merciless show. That, Chloe, was what led to this whole mess with my entitled crap and inexcusable behavior. Emma rightfully scolded me, but I refused to listen, and I paid the price. After Emma took my husband away from me, the guilt has been swallowing me up. I cried every single day afterward, and I was actually so close to ending myself. But all of a sudden, I got a text message from this guy named Felix, who I found out was another friend of yours. He said he wanted to invite me over here to discuss my issues with you. I didn't know what to do at first, I felt so guilty about what I did and said to you, I didn't think you would ever forgive me for that. But somehow you've wanted to give me this second chance. Why is that? Because I care about you Nancy, and do you know why I care about you? Because I've been watching Care Bears a lot. Those lovable bears have taught me and my friends so many lessons about love, friendship, teamwork, and most of all, caring. Don't you think it's better to watch shows that bring people together instead of shows that tear them apart? I guess you're right. I admit I was wrong to treat you so poorly, I didn't bother thinking about how smart, compassionate, and kind-hearted you are, regardless of where you come from. I mean no disrespect to anyone outside my area of the world, that's just my anger getting in the way. Emma was right about me watching too much South Park. Now that I understand how wrong I was and the impact South Park has had on me, I'm going to stop watching that show, and hopefully I won't relapse and get back into my old ways. That's the spirit Nancy. Hopefully you can stop watching that nasty obscene show and start learning to care about everyone, regardless if they have different opinions, viewpoints, or traditions. You should also consider traveling to other countries and exploring the wonders of each country. 
My friend Felix enjoys doing something like that, and honestly, so do I. That's why we've been going on worldwide vacations a lot, it opens up plenty of opportunities for us to learn, play, explore, and grow. You and your family should go on those kinds of vacations too. Yeah, well, vacations are pretty expensive, and we don't have all the money in the world like you guys do apparently. That's okay, we'd be more than happy to invite you over for any of our lovely trips. In fact, we're planning on going to Greece in a few weeks, that's where our friend Alexandros is from, and he's very excited to go back home for a week, that's how long we plan on staying there. You interested? Absolutely! I've always been watching documentaries of ancient Greece, and I've always wanted to experience the Acropolis in real life. Would it be okay if I took my family along with me? Absolutely. Thanks! Okay Davis, now I'm going to ask you some questions, and if you don't know the answers to any of my questions, don't be afraid to tell me that. But I still want you to try and answer to the best of your knowledge and abilities. So Davis, what is it that you like about Barney and Friends? I like Barney and Friends because I used to watch it so much when I was a kid, and I like all the bright colors, joyful music, and all those happy kids that make me happy too. I don't like any shows that contain any offensive words, violence, loud noises, or any dark or sad stuff. But then when I got older my mommy said I had to stop watching Barney and all those other shows for kids, but I didn't want to. I still love those shows so much, and when she caught me watching Barney instead of doing my homework, she destroyed all my VHS tapes of Barney, Blue's Clues, Rugrats, Care Bears, and many more. And then she also threw away all my toys and ripped all my stuffed animals and Care Bears and viciously threw them in the garbage. It was like watching my best friends get murdered by my own mother. My mom didn't care how I felt about it, and she punished me for crying about it. Oh my, that's terrible. Your mom was so mean to you, wasn't she? She kind of reminds me of Alex's dad. Who's Alex? Oh, she's a dear friend of mine. I have a ton more friends, so why don't I introduce you to the whole gang when we're done with this whole counseling thing? Okay! So now I understand your strong desire to hold on to your childhood, you care so much about all this stuff that you get extremely upset if people take them away from you. If not for what you had to go through in your childhood, you would have probably grown out of all that stuff by now. Does that make sense? Well, now that you think about it, yeah, I think it does make sense. Wow, you're so smart for a little cat. Ah, uh, don't take it from me, my friend Chloe is the brains of this whole thing. Do you want a little cat hug to make you feel better? What, really? Yes, really. Ah, uh, you're so cute when you hug me. Thanks, I get that all the time. All right, now that we've had our one-on-one -on -one sessions, I think it's time for a little family counseling, or I guess just parental counseling since your kids aren't involved. So here's how it's going to work, our friend Emma will sit in between you two in case you guys get into a fight or argument and she can easily break it up. I'll sit next to Nancy and back her up while Felix backs up Davis. Can I go first? Sure Davis, I was gonna let you go first anyway. Thanks. Okay Nancy, first of all, I'm deeply sorry for throwing all those childish tantrums for not getting what I want. I think I'm now starting to understand that I can't always get what I want, and I just need to accept it, but it's really hard to do that when I had some of my favorite things brutally destroyed by my own mom. What, really? Yes Nancy, my mom destroyed my VHS tapes of my favorite shows because she said I'm too old for them and she ripped all my toys and threw them in the trash. Your mom did all that to you? Yes! Jesus Christ, how cruel. I had no idea. That's why you're still attached to all those things you liked as a kid. That makes so much sense now. God, I feel like shit right now for my wretched behavior. I shouldn't have acted like an entitled Karen toward you. I guess I didn't even bother learning more about you even though we're married. Maybe I just didn't have the patience for it, and my anxiety and anger issues just got in the way of that. 
It really warms my heart to hear you guys are getting along. I didn't think it would happen so fast. But anyway, I think I have a plan on what needs to happen. Nancy, if Davis wants to do something that you feel is not appropriate for his age, try not to be so aggressive or harsh about it, because that may hurt his feelings and make him want to throw a fit. If it doesn't hurt anyone else or cause a public nuisance, then there's no reason not to let him do it. To me, the idea of acting one's age doesn't really make much sense, your age doesn't really have much to do with how you act. That's why I see no reason for not letting Davis play with kids' toys or watch kids' videos regardless of how old he is. The more he gets what he wants, the less he'll throw temper tantrums. And over time he'll throw fewer tantrums, and eventually he'll grow out of them. And if there's anything he wants that he can't have, for example, not being allowed to go on any of the rides at the theme park because of park rules, then don't just say no to him. Instead, be sensitive, explain it to him in a calm manner, and instead of punishing him for throwing tantrums, reward him for behaving appropriately and not causing a scene in public. Maybe say something like, if you don't throw a tantrum, I'll let you stay up an hour late to watch Blue's Clues, or I'll get you some ice cream if you accept not being allowed to go on that park ride, something like that. Does that sound like something you can do? If something like this happens again, then try to think about what I said, okay? Okay, Chloe, I'll try. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry guys, it's about lunchtime now. I'm gonna go and make tuna melts if anyone wants one. Ooh, that sounds delicious. What's a tuna melt? It's a toasted sandwich with tuna, cheese, and anything you please. Do you want one? You know how you like tuna casserole Davis, which is really just mac and cheese with tuna on it? I think you should try a tuna melt. I don't know how Felix makes them, but it wouldn't hurt to try a bite, right? Okay, Nancy. Great. I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, Emma, about what happened several days ago, I just want to say I'm sorry for refusing to listen to you and for calling you an Aussie fat ass. I just got so carried away and I became such a dick to you and your dear friend. No worries, Nancy. I should be the one apologizing. I shouldn't have been such a big scary bear to you. I was just upset because of your recent behavior, but now I've learned that you're changing your ways, and I'm very proud of you for it. This is how I get sometimes when I feel that my babies are in danger. And my babies in this case are my friends, Felix, Chloe, and the rest of the gang. Say, would you guys like to meet the rest of us? We have quite a large group of friends from all over the world who are more than happy to meet you too. Hey, that's a great idea. We'll rally up all our friends after we eat, and you can meet them one by one, and then hopefully you guys can leave here having learned so much from our counseling. How does that sound everybody? Sounds, Sounds like, like a, a plan! plan.